you know, people are such that in a, a place where something is forbidden, those who are on top, the haves, they are going to be having everything and without any consequences to them. And what happens is that uh, the have-nots, the people who don't have money or connections, but they still want drinks, they are the ones who get caught and thrown in jails and fined and penalized and whatnot. So anyway, uh, that used to be the case. So I wrote this poem. It's not exactly about prohibition as such, but uh, it's one of the things uh, it used to be. It, it has created a culture or rather an ethos where drinking or so on is regarded as extremely uh, shameful and all that. So this, is, uh, this poem is titled what poetry means to a nestina in Peru. What should poetry mean to a woman in the hills? What should poetry mean to a woman in the hills? As she sits one long sloping summer evening in Patria, eyes all, her head cramped with contrary winds, Pistilling the clever stars that seem to say, ignoring the problem will not make it go away. So what if Ernestina is not a name at all? Not even a corruption, less than a monument. She will sit, pulling on one thin cigarillo after another. She will lift her teacup in friendly greeting to the hills and the loquacious stars and the music will comb on through her hair, telling her poetry must be raw, like a side of beef. It should drip blood. It should remind you of sweat and dusty slaughter and the epidermal crunch and the sudden bullet to the head. The sudden bullet in the head so she sits, calmly gathered, the lizard in her blinks and thinks, she will answer, the dog was bad that bit me, and later they cut off my third eye and left it in a jar on hospital shelf. That was when the drums began. Since then, I have met the patron saint of sots and circuses who used to stand in every corner until the police chased her down and she jumped into a taxi. Now I have turned into the girl with the black guitar and it was the dog who died, such as blood. The rustle, the rustle of Ernestina's skirts will not reveal the sinful vine or cicada crumbling to a pair of wings at her feet. She will smile and say, I like a land where babies are ripped out of their graves, where the church leads to practical results like illegitimate children and broken marriages, quite out of proportion to the current population. And your neighbor is kidnapped by demons and the young widow without complaint. And pious women know the sexual ecstasy of dance and peace is kept by short men with a Bible and five big knuckles on their righteous hands. Religion has made drunks of us all. We are killing ourselves. I like an incestuous land. Stars, be silent. Let Ernestina speak. So what if the roses are in disarray? She will rise with a look of terror to real to be comical. The conspiracy in the greenhouse and the committee of good women, they have marked her down. They're coming. They're coming. We have been bombed silly out of our minds. Waiter, bring me something cold to drink. Somewhere there is a desert waiting for me, and someday I will walk into it. That's